Hey, Slashaholics. This is Josh and Alex from Slash Tracks and Slash Tracks Action News. Uh, we're going to do a little video here for you today, an unboxing video from the fine people over at HorrorPack.com. Uh, I've got their link in the description below. You should really go check them out and sign up. Every month you get a box of DVDs or Blu-rays, horror movies, and they send out some great stuff. They were nice enough to send me the May box, and they sent Alex the June box. And we're, I'm going to open up the May one, then he's going to check out and see what he got in the June box. And uh, if you sign up now, I'm pretty sure you can still snag the July box. Uh, so let's see what I got in Horror Packs box from May. All right, movie, so I got, yeah. I, got, I, got, I got the Blu-ray box, and I've got a movie called The Last Compartment. I don't know if you can see that, The Last Compartment. It. And it says, Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray. After their train is hit by an avalanche in the Alps, Greta and five strangers find themselves trapped in the last car of the train, buried underneath the snow. Over the radio, they learn that a rescue operation is underway, but for some reason, the last compartment seems to have disappeared. Lost in the snow and with time running out, Greta must figure out who she can trust if she wants to survive. That's the last compartment. I love the cover art for that. Uh, it's kind of a skull in the sky there. See that? That's cool. a stressful situation to be in. She's trapped <laughs> under the snow in a train, and she can't trust the people she's trapped with. Oh, That's boy. That's not good. I, I'm going to have to check that one out. They kind of make me claustrophobic sometimes. Uh, like, there's this movie, uh, Frozen, I think, where these people are stuck on a snow lift. Have you seen that one? No. It, uh, I thought you were going to say Olaf, uh, and it was made by Disney when you said Frozen. <laughs> No, these guys, these people are stuck on a, uh, a ski lift for like a three-day period over a holiday weekend. And, you know, they're freezing. There's nobody around uh, to help them. They have to make the decision to stay there and freeze or jump down and possibly break their legs. And there's uh, this pack of wolves that, keep, that are underneath them just waiting for them to decide what to do. What? Hold and on. it's pretty brutal. They're uh, stuck on the ski lift, um, like a ski lift that like that looks like a park bench in the air on a yes. line? Yes. No way, man. What's the bathroom situation like up there? Exactly. That sounds horrible. One of them falls asleep at one point against the pole, and they wake up. It just rips the flesh off their face. Uh, um, but that's not in the horror pack. Uh, this is the next one. Ah, the mummy. American mummy. Um, I don't know about this one, but we'll check it out. The curse is unearthed. Uh, you don't have to go to Egypt to unearth an angry ancient one. A group of university students in the New Mexico desert unearth an ancient mummy on which one of the students performs a secret primeval blood ritual. This awakens the death-hungry spirit of the Aztec lord Tessalipico, intent on finishing his centuries-old reign of terror. Soon, the mummy's curse possesses the students' souls, turning them against each other in a bid to spread his evil to the entire world. Includes both 3D and 2D versions. Uh, you're going to be crying for mummy after watching American Mummy uh, through Horror Pack there. Anything to say on American Mummy? I just immediately thought of Mother Evil. <laughs> right. <laughs> mummy. Mummy and Evil. This, this is what Mother Evil and Master Evil always try to teach us. The lesson. Um, this one actually looks pretty interesting. They all do. Uh, you're going to learn even if it kills you. Finn, a lone teen from a broken family, gets caught up in the wrong crowd of delinquent kids in this chilling horror film filled with white-knuckle suspense when Finn and his friend Joel act up in class. Their English teacher decides to teach them a lesson they will never forget. First-time feature helmer Ruth Platt comes out swinging as an intelligent directorial force with this debut, that ramps up the tension dramatically and results in a solid horror coming-of-age film. Uh, a whiplash for genre fans. That sounds pretty interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching that one. That does sound interesting, um, but what a horrible uh, stroke of luck for those guys. They got a class with a teacher who was like that close, that much on the edge, that they're the two that right. messed up. And now she's gonna teach them a lesson. Like they screwed up. That was just fate. You, you don't. When you're in grade school and junior high and high school, you don't get to pick your teacher. They you you say you want English or history, and they just kind of place you where they want you. They got exactly. the one who was just about ready to snap. 
Like, how lucky for them. I don't blame the teacher for what they get paid and what they have to put up with. Um, I'm sure lots of them want to teach some kids a lesson. But, uh, yeah, check out the lesson. Uh, so any of these uh, you're going to want to borrow after you after we finish watching them, maybe swap the boxes and check them out? Yeah, the lesson is the one that, that intrigues me the most because I relate to it because I was probably – one of those kids that was just absolutely driving my teachers to the brink because I never shut up in class. And if I did show up on time or for the day, they're like telling me about all my missed assignments. I'm <laughs> kind of pissing and moaning about it. I'm in this bad situation that I put myself in. They got to deal with this crap. They got their own life. No, I guaranteed I was the one that they wanted to teach a lesson. I promise you. Well, the final one in the box, Alex, this one is kind of freaking me out because I have a bit of arachnophobia, a bit of bitophobia, really, uh, if I get honest about it. Spiders, not so much, but them biting me. Uh, it's called Itsy Bitsy. And a creepy, crawly horror film with legs. Ha <laughs> ha, see what they did there. A single mother, Kara, moves from New York to the quiet countryside with her two children for a job opportunity she can't afford to turn down. The family moves into their humble new guest house where her teenage son, Jesse, begins the unhappy task of looking after his little sister, Cambria. Carrie begins her work as a private nurse to Walter. So Walter and Jesse are two characters in this. Uh, a man stricken with multiple sclerosis and an appraiser of rare antiquities. But Walter's secret past invites doom and terror. Jesse discovers a mysterious relic of ancient origin that had been brought to the household by Akiba a shady international associate of Walters. All too quickly, they discover that the relic contains more than just legends and myths. Inside waits a terrifying creature born of ancient darkness and pure instinct, a prehistoric cave spider unlike anything the modern world has ever seen. And I don't know if it'll... I see it. Yeah, so... You've seen the movie? No, I, I saw the box that you put... Uh, so Akiba is the one who is causing all the problems for Walt and Jesse. So is Akiba... The spider, Gus? the owner of Los Pollos Loco. For exactly. Spiders? Is that is that Gus Fring? Is that yeah. his secret identity? Gustavo Fring, the spider. <laughs> All so right. that's the that's the May box, and uh, Alex is going to crack open that June box. What do you got? All right, I'm ready to open the June box of Whore Pack. So let's check this out. The anticipation is just killing me, Josh. It's like Christmas <laughs> morning, dude. Like an ancient cave spider? I'm excited, yeah. I'm, <laughs> ooh, I'm excited. I'm getting the tingles. All right. It's wrapped up. In a, ooh, I got to open another one. So it's in a package within a box. Okay. okay. It's an enigma wrapped in a riddle. Let's we'll see how good I am. I'm usually not very good with this kind of stuff. So I don't know if we're going to top the lesson plan, though. That looks pretty excellent. The lesson, yeah. The lesson. Uh, let's see here. All right. If, you're looking for, if anybody's looking for it, there's what the cover looks like. The lesson. That's the one that I'm kind of intrigued by in your box. I don't know. All right. Mummy might get the Oscar this year for Best Picture. That's what Will Smith is going to be starring in uh, American Mummy Part 2 because he ruined his career at the Oscars <laughs> this year. He's going to be rele relegated to Blu-ray specials. All right, so check this out. First movie. The Sadness. Can you see that? Hold on. Sad, yeah, put it in front of your face and it'll... Uh, there you go. Yeah, The Sadness. The Sadness. All right. The city of Taipei suddenly erupts into bloody chaos as ordinary people are compulsively driven to enact the most cruel and ghastly things they can imagine. Murder, torture, and mutilation are all only the beginning. A young couple is pushed to the limits of sanity as they try to reunite amid the violence and depravity. The age of civility and order is no more. There is only the sadness. Dude, that sounds pretty cool. That does sound pretty cool. And it sounds like my life. The sadness. <laughs> I was about to say, that, that could be the title of my documentary about me. Yeah. The yeah. The, a couple huge milestones in Alex's life could be titled The Sadness. The Sadness. <laughs> that, hey, this could be a good one. I kind of like movies where it's just a free-for-all and just craziness going around because you can have villains from anywhere you don't know who's coming at you and then those like the grudge or not the grudge excuse me the purge like the yeah purge. the purge yeah you don't know who's gonna knock at your door you don't know where evil's coming from i like that kind of stuff so the sadness that looks like a winner all right 
we're going for part two here. Number two in the box. Three movie thrill set. Oh, wow. Queens of Scream. This looks pretty good here, Josh. I know what you did last summer. When a Stranger Calls and Vacancy. Oh, it's wow. Got, yeah, three movies in one. And I mean, I think anyone who's watching this unboxing has probably seen I Know What You Did Last Summer, Jennifer Love Hewitt, uh, Freddie Prince Jr., Sarah Michelle Gellar, uh, Ryan Phillippe. They they accidentally you know hit uh, somebody on the road, turns out to be a fisherman, and he wants revenge. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a great movie. Um, kind of a scream knockoff a little bit. In that yeah. same kind of ni- late 90s, the faculty kind of, you know. Yeah, um, Scream kind of uh, kicked off a series of movies like that for sure. Oh, everybody was trying to, to do the Scream homage. Even Boy Meets World did an episode. Uh, yeah, they, di- they did. <laughs> and I cannot wait to see the Boy Meets Pod where they cover that episode because okay. that'll be really fun to listen to their thoughts on that. Um, when a Stranger Calls. And I think this is the remake because I see yeah, Katie probably. Cassidy. Um, so we'll just kind of re I'm not as familiar with the when a stranger calls. So Katie Cassidy, she was in the nightmare on Elm street remake. She was the, the red herring, the first girl that passes away or gets killed. All right. Have you checked the children to Jill Johnson? It was the perfect babysitting job. The parents were away. The fridge was stocked. The children were tucked into bed, but then the phone rings and an ominous voice asks, have you checked the children? Locked in with the lights out and the curtains drawn, a panicky Jill dr- calls the police, who traces the calls, only to inform her they're coming from inside the house. Oh, yeah. So the classic babysitter story yeah. in movie form. If you've seen the original, it sounds pretty similar. Uh, but that's that's awesome. That's So I, I got four movies total in the May box. The June box has uh, four movies in the in first, first two selections two. there. Yeah, so uh, what's uh, Vacancy? Is that Luke Wilson? Yeah, Luke Wilson, Kate Beckinsale um, from Underworld. Probably the hottest woman ever uh, in the Adam Sandler movie, uh, Click, where he rewind, rewinds through his life. Um, so let's just give the rundown real quick. When David and Amy Fox's car breaks down in the middle of nowhere, they are forced to spend the night at the only motel around, and with only the TV to entertain them, until they discover that the low-budget slasher videos they find in their room were all filmed in that very room in which they're, si- they're sitting. With hidden cameras uh, now aimed at them, David and Amy must struggle to get out alive before they end up the next victims on tape. I love that movie. That's it's, a good movie. Good, yeah. Ethan Embry, who is kind of like one of my guys, that uh, he was in Dutch, he was in Empire Records, he was in That Thing You Do. He's just a ton of stuff. Can't um, Hardly Wait, which yeah, is my can't, favorite uh, teen romp of the 90s. Plays Preston and Can't Hardly Wait. Um... He's in that movie, and he's not such a great guy, so it was weird to see him kind of play a, a bad guy. But, yeah, no, those are three great movies. That That's a great combo right there. All right. Mo, uh, horror movie number three. Dead by Midnight. Okay. All right. Now, this I haven't seen this one before. This is the director's signature edition. Uh, see that? Okay. Okay, yeah. So I don't, I don't know if those are actual signatures or what. Um, it's Halloween at WKIZ when the malicious mistress of midnight arrives to host her annual horror movie marathon, Dead by Midnight. When the WKIZ staff begins disappearing only to turn up in increasingly darker films, it's up to line producer Candace Spelling to stop the mistress of midnight before her final and most diabolical film goes to air. So is this kind of a like an evil um, Elvira? This is like yeah, an El- that, this is like El- if Elvira went evil. Is that is that really what what it is? Is that like kind of a if Elvira was evil? It's, I think that's <laughs> I think this has got to be inspired for sure. I love it. I love it. I love Elvira. She's awesome. Elvira is awesome. All right, hey, and last but not least for the June Horror Pack, Bad Samaritan. Oh, right. no. <laughs> the Bad Samaritan. Two petty thieves working as valet attendants, Sean, who's played by Robert Sheehan, and Derek, who's played by Carlito Olivero, make income on the side by robbing rich people's homes in Portland, Oregon. I live an hour from Portland. Wow. When Sean breaks into the home of Kale uh, Aaron Dyke, Aaron, Aaron Drake, Drake, oh my goodness, I butchered that, I'm sorry. He finds more than riches. He finds a woman tied to a chair next to an array of torture-inducing tools. Panicked, Sean leaves the woman behind and calls the cops, 
who search the house and find nothing. Now Sean must try to save the woman on his own, while a, while a wrathful Kale is determined to take revenge in this compelling and provocative thriller. Why do why do all police in movies suck? Like why, right. why are all police officers in every horror movie just utterly useless? <laughs> he calls like the, the cops. They show up and do nothing promptly. I kind of like the premise though. You know, it's kind of like the house guest or, or the dinner guest that had the guy from Frasier. Um. A guy's, like, going to go rob this place. This house ends up uh, with a psycho. that he's, The person he's trying to rob is psychotic. That oh, sounds pretty interesting. That does sound uh, interesting. I had an idea for a film one time, and uh, copyright, slash tracks copyright right here. I always <laughs> thought it would be really great if, and I've, it's been done before, but I always thought it would be great if there was, like, a person, and they're going through, like, the worst part of their life. They are just, they're shut in, but they're also highly trained. Like, they can whip some ass. Yeah. And they get targeted by a bad guy. And the, ba the bad guy breaks into the house and thinks he's going to have his way with the victim. But it turns out the victim uh, was waiting for just this opportunity. And the tables are going to be turned immediately. I always thought that would be like, so the guy who's supposed to be the bad guy is going to end up being the victim. Because he just picked the wrong, the wrong house. I just thought that. I always envisioned that. Like they show up to, it'd be like they show up to like, Freddy Krueger's house or Jason's house, you know? Yeah, they they uh -huh. pick the wrong person to mess with. Like, <laughs> Stranger Things, they go to Vecna's house or something. In the underworld, they're like, oh, boy. Boy, did we do the wrong thing. Josh, some good movies, dude. We got a good pack. Yeah, and uh, you can get some awesome movies from horrorpack.com slash aholics. Uh, they have a one-month plan for Blu-rays, $29.99 a month. Um, if you do the three-month plan, it's $29.24. Um, they have a six month for twenty eight forty nine. So the more months you get, the cheaper it is. Um, twenty seven seventy four for a year per month, uh, and that's the Blu rays. I believe the DVD box is a tad bit cheaper. But check out the link in the description below, horrorpack.com. Uh, give them a try. I think you're going to be happy. Got plenty of movies to watch here from my May box, and hopefully when Alex is done with his, we can uh, swap and uh, check out the other ones. So, you excited about watching those? I am excited about watching them. Thank you, Horror Pack. Uh, I the one I really want to see the one you have though. The one that stuck out to me was the the, the lesson, lesson plan. Yeah, the lesson. Yeah. All right, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to catch us on Slash Tracks Action News and Slash Tracks. Thanks again to Horror Pack for hooking me and Alex up uh, with these awesome Blu-rays. We really appreciate it, and I hope all you Slashaholics uh, will give Horror Pack a try. Good night.